Hello everyone and welcome. Have you been looking for a full featured yet affordable soldering iron with a convenient soldering station? Well today we'll be looking at a soldering iron with adjustable temperature controls that comes with a convenient workstation plus helping hands to make your soldering job more stable. On top of that, it brings all the tools you need to make your next soldering job that much better. And it all comes at a very affordable price. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then stick around as I unbox and test this soldering station from k -Weeks. All right guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the features on this guy. But before we do that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you get notified every time I do another product unboxing or a DIY video that you may find very useful. So let's get into this guy. So this is the k Wheat Soldering Iron, Soldering Iron Plus Soldering Station, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this kit retails for $62.99. But they also have a 30% off discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. So what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the soldering station itself. You get the soldering iron. You get a base unit right here to be able to put the soldering iron into it when you're not using it. You get the owner's manual that tells you everything about the unit, how to set it up, take care of it, all that kind of good stuff. You get five separate tips and one tip already installed. So you get a total of six tips that come with this unit. You get some copper windings right there to put inside this guy over here to clean the tip of your soldering iron when you're not using it. You get a little coil of uh, solder right there so you can do some soldering. You get a magnifying glass that goes attached to the helping hands. You get the helping hands and the base unit where this guy can be used separately or together with this guy right here. So you can put this guy in there if it's more convenient or take it out and use it separately as we're gonna talk about later. So this guy comes with a three year warranty and the weight on this guy is only two pounds so it's not very heavy at all. The dimensions on this guy are five and a half by four and a half by three inches in thickness. This unit has a 65 watt output with adjustable temperature controls and the temperature can be adjusted from 200 degrees centigrade to 480 degrees centigrade or that would be 392 Fahrenheit to 896 Fahrenheit. The workbench over here has helping hands, which we have to put together in just a moment, and a magnifying glass, which is detachable. And I discovered a little hack that I'm going to show you guys how to make this guy even better, and absolutely for free. The soldering iron has a silicon cable to reduce any heat or static, and the base unit uses a low voltage power unit to reduce static, leakage, and interference. Now, like I mentioned previously, this guy comes with five extra tips, which you can use for all sorts of soldering projects and wood burning or pyrography. So this guy is very versatile, has a lot of different things you can do with it. Now, when I got this guy, I had a link to another page and I also got some more soldering supplies right there. I got this two roll of lead free solder from Kiwis and I'll put a link to that below as well. At the making of this video, these two rolls together were only $8.99 and they have a 20% off coupon, so even cheaper than that. And that is pretty much cheaper than what is available to me nearby at the local big box stores. Because the big box stores around me, the only ones that have any electronic supplies or soldering supplies, if you want to look at it that way, would be either Home Depot or Walmart. Very limited. There's no more electronic supplies, local shops anywhere near me that I can go get any of that stuff. In the old days, it'd be super easy to get any kind of little rolls like this, which are very convenient and basically made specifically for soldering electronics. As you can see, these guys are very thin and I have to take the protective cover off of it, but it's a very thin roll right there that I'll show you in just a moment. These are no smoking lead free solder with low melting points and it has two sizes that came with it. You have the 1.2 millimeter and 0.6 millimeter, and each roll is 0.7 ounces or 20 grams. So they're very, very convenient to have on hand. I didn't know how much came with it, so I got myself some extra ones at a nominal cost. Because around me, the only ones available is this big hunky thing right here, which is pretty thick and bulky and hard to melt when you're trying to do electronic projects. This is the only stuff available, and I personally do not like it, but I got it because it was the only thing available. Now, I'm much more happy with this stuff right here. 
And that's one of the things that sometimes people complain that I use Amazon way too much for all my stuff. But you know what? If the big box stores don't carry anything that I need and there's no local shops that has what I need, the only alternative is to get it on Amazon. That's where you get the best deals. That's where you get the greatest variety. And that's where I have to go. So that's where I got this kit right here. And now I'm going to be happy doing more soldering projects much more conveniently and easily for my stuff. So these two items together make for a very convenient and flexible soldering experience. A lot of times when you're soldering, you wish you had three hands. Well, now you do. This soldering iron with adjustable temperature should allow you to find just the right temperature for your given project. And the soldering workbench with helping hands should help you make your soldering experience less tedious and more convenient. So let's test this guy out and see how it works. All right, guys, let's take a little look at the workstation with the helping hands, which you kind of have to assemble it. It comes disassembled. And all it does is basically you need the uh, three little helping hands here. You screw it on and the little feet that go with it, you screw it on. Simple to do, easy peasy. You can knock it out in just a couple of minutes. And if you look at them, you can see, look at how big these attachments are. These helping hands are really quite long quite large. I mean, this is probably over a foot in length for each one of these. So it gives you a lot of flexibility as to how you put it, set it up and so forth. You can even have it extend beyond the base. If you want to do something out here in a larger, more open area, you see that it extends out and the base doesn't tip over. So you can go really far out with these guys and use it for whatever is convenient for you. And like I said, the soldering station can sit right on here. That's why it has these openings because the legs of it go here and I'll show you that in a moment. But these guys are really good. I mean, compared to what I've been using, I've been using this little guy for years, which is, as you can see right there, from Radio Shack, <laughs> which isn't around anymore. But I got this guy way back uh, decades ago, and I've been using this little guy for years. And it's it's worked out, but it's not been perfect. It's not been the ideal um, partner for doing soldering projects and so forth. And when you compare this to this, this guy is kind of pathetic. So <laughs> this is going to be retired, and I'm going to be using this station right here for all my soldering projects in the future. And one little hack that I wanted to point out when I was assembling this guy, I noticed one thing. It comes with a magnifying glass and you take the magnifying glass and you screw it onto here. You have to thread it onto here to attach it, right? And then you have it attached on there and you have a magnifying glass so you can see what you're working on. Well, what if you don't need a magnifying glass and you don't want that in your way? How about if you want a third helping hand? Well, most of you guys that work with electronics are gonna have alligator clips hanging around. So these are alligator clips on this end all you do is take one of your little handy dandy freebie alligator clips you have hanging around. All you do is thread it onto there and you just gave yourself a third helping hand. Look at that. Very convenient. Now you have three helping hands to hold whatever it is you're working on. Sometimes you may need more than two. Now you got a third one for free. I'm sure most of you guys have these hanging around. You can adapt it to fit on there and take it off when you don't want it. Put the magnifying glass on there when you do want it and you have the best of both worlds flexibility to do just about anything you want. Now as far as the station goes, let me move this aside and I'll show you the station a little bit better. The station, there you go, that's a top view right there. That's a side view right there. There's the back of it and there's the other side, that's where the on off button is. And see these legs go into that over there and it just slots right through there. Now this guy. When you're looking at the front of it right there, you can see that you have all the adjustments here for the temperature. The soldering iron slots right into there. You just hook it up right into there. And then you have your adjustment for the temperature right there. Very nice and easy. And you have a calibration adjuster right there, a little screw right there. So if you think it's out of calibration, you can use a thermometer or something to be able to test the temperature on it. One of those infrared thermal units and you can test to see the temperature and you can calibrate it so it's spot on to whatever it is that you want it to be on. So you can calibrate it yourself. You don't have to worry about it being out of calibration. So if you see any reviews or anybody that complains that it's out of calibration, don't be concerned about that. They're just being whiners because you have a way to calibrate it yourself. So don't whine, calibrate it. That's all that it takes. Fix it to be whatever your specifications are. So there you go. So this guy, if you want, you put it right in here and then you just slip it through the helping hands and there you go. That's how that guy fits right in there and it's not going anywhere. 
So then you just attach the soldering iron. You take this guy and then you just slip it in there, right in there, and your soldering iron is ready to go. All you do is turn it on and you start soldering. So let's do some testing with some soldering. All right, guys, so let's do a little bit of soldering right here. Now I have a couple of different wires and I'm using the helping hands to hold it together for me. Now I'm not gonna do a lot of soldering. I'm just gonna do this one piece right here because watching someone solder on a video is like watching grass grow. Not the most exciting thing in the world. So if you know how to solder, you know what to do. And this is not an instructional video. This is basically a demonstration video. So basically proof of concept of how this unit works. So I heat it up a little bit right here and let's do a little bit of soldering and see how this guy heats this up and how it performs. So I'm going to use the soldering that came with the unit and see how this guy performs. So there you go, cleaned it up a little bit, made it look a bit more attractive by smoothing it out, and we got some good penetration, goes all the way through it without any trouble whatsoever. So let me just flip this guy over so you can see a little bit better, and there you go. We have some nice soldering going on there, soldered all the way through on both sides, so it did a decent job. It heated up and it did the job very quickly, very efficiently. So no complaints from me as far as the soldering iron, it works just fine. So that's very nice right there. And like I said, the convenient part is you can adjust the temperature to whatever your project requires. So that's very cool. All right, guys. So one of the things I mentioned at the beginning is that this little guy is also capable of pyrography. So how about we try a little bit of wood burning? So here we have a nice little piece of wood right here, and I'm just going to freehand it. I just put that there just as a guide. I'm not very good at this, but I'm willing to try and see how it goes. So let's try a little bit of uh, random art here, random pyrography. I heated this guy up and let's see what it can do. Oh, I love the smell of wood burning in the morning. There you go, guys. A little bit of random pyrography with this little new guy that I just got this soldering iron from k -Weeds. Does a good job. Nice and toasty and a nice indentation on there. Very nicely done. So there you go. You see that you can use it for soldering or pyrography, whatever is your preference. All right, guys, there you have it, a review and demonstration of a very complete and affordable soldering station with soldering base and helping hands. I think this is a really great soldering station, a definite improvement over my old helping hands and a very flexible soldering unit with adjustable temperatures. If you're looking for a soldering station that gives you the flexibility to adjust the temperature, change the tips, and use it with a base that includes helping hands, then this unit is one to look at. 
Now, since a lot of my viewers like to shop at Harbor Freight, let me point out a comparison for you. The Schneider soldering station at Harbor Freight has the same range of temperature as this unit, costs double the price, only has 90 days of warranty, and does not include the helping hands or the extra tips that this unit does. So I would suggest checking out this unit instead because it's a much better value. Check out their Amazon page for complete details. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.